Hello, you guys. So this is the hair that I'm going to be using. It is the Expressions Looped Bounce Twist Hair in the color 1. And my hair, of course, is not cornrowed. It's flat twist because I can't cornrow. And that hair right there is for the Bantu knot section. So a word of advice about this hair, it has a knot at the top that makes it hard to crochet with. Slide that little knot down so that you have enough room to pull the hair through the loop. And you'll see what I mean when I show you. So as per usual, slide the hook underneath your hair. Attach the crochet hair to the hook and slide that through. Take the hook off and then you're going to pull the hair through the loop. And I actually do it twice with this hair. And later on, you'll see in the tutorial that I actually um, tighten it even more so that that little knot can slide back up so that it's not, you know, apparent. <laughs> but yeah, I do that to the rest of my head. This is America. Don't catch you slipping, no. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm whipping now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. And then here I'm going to separate the hair to you know, give it a more natural look. I didn't want my curls to look uniform, but I'm not gonna do it too much because I still want some definition and I want this hairstyle to last a good while. And then I frame my face by cutting some bangs with a pair of scissors and then I also cut away any flyaways. Now for the Bantu knots, I actually take one piece of the crochet hair and attach that to a bobby pin and I pin that to my bantu knot and then I twist the crochet hair around my bantu knot as you see and then I secure it with a rubber band. Now as for the gold string, I tie the gold string to a bobby pin as well and I pin that to the bantu knot and then I wrap it around the bantu knot as I please. <laughs> And I pinned the bottom of the thread with a bobby pin. So this is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next tutorial.